I'm gonna show you how to create a similar effect like this in Camtasia 9. So what I have here is a map of Melbourne and I'm gonna create a map path coming from here, Flinders Street Station, up to from St Kilda Road, going across here and finishing around about there. At the moment I've inserted this little red dot, uh, which is just a, a shape and I've added a behavior in there. And uh, so the first place to go is to annotations on the top left. And you want to go specifically to the squiggly line, which is sketch motion callouts. These are pre-animated shapes that you can um, you can edit them uh, on a on particular place on the screen. To replicate that animated path, I'm going to use this straight line and place it uh, around here. So at the moment, it's this long uh, skinny line. What I want to do is to uh, to make it smaller and, and thicker. So coming over to the right on thickness, I'll put it to the maximum, 18, and grabbing the top right-hand corner, I'll just shrink it down to about there, more or less. And that'll be fine. So I'm gonna drag that, click and drag, and place that here. Make it a little bit thinner, perhaps, about there. And at the moment, this, this is what it would look like. So it's, it's all a little bit uh, slow going. So I'm going to move that red dot a bit further over and the line about there. I can change the speed of that animation. If I go again to the top here, to visual properties, um, I'll keep the drop shadow. Actually, I'll let me just take a step back from there. It's it's under here under annotation properties. You want to go to draw time, and I'm going to change that from 1.0 to 0.2. This will be much faster now. Yeah, so that's going to be a lot better for my purposes. So. This straight, if I go down and look at the timeline here, I'm going to stretch that out to the very end. And I may need a number of these. So I'm going to stretch out the map to, uh, let's say, around here. That should be enough. And these two objects to the end. Just to make this a little bit easier, I will increase the the size of this. Just undo that. So now I'm starting here. The first object, this first line is there. I want to have that copied across uh, to, to create my path. So I'm going to select that object here, press Control C, and with this, the, the playhead, uh, I'm going to zoom in a little bit more. On the playhead, I'm going to place it around there as the animation finishes. Press Control V, and we'll see how that looks. So that's at the moment that the one that's copied is is going to be right on top. You can't see it, so I'm going to click with this one selected. I'm going to click that object, drag it, and you now can see it's separated. I want this to be facing in that, and I control Z that. I want it facing in that direction. So if I click here, you'll notice this, this green, this green dot here. And when I hover over it, it's a, um, a circular arrow. I'm going to click and move that along to the left, and that places it just in the direction that I want. So I'll place it around there. See how that looks. And from the start. Okay, so this this will this will work pretty quickly. So I might just drag that down shade. And it, it, you know you you will need to adjust it to to suit your needs, but just for demonstration purposes. So the next one I will the next line I will insert around about here. So I'll 
again selected that control C and control V I'm just moving that back a little bit I need to grab that new object control so select drag and move it so the green dot as I hover over it I'll move it that way and place it there okay so I'm going to continue that process going along so selecting that object control C control V move that back a little bit yep and then grab the object and I'm rinsing and repeating here so I just place it there uh, so I'm going to continue this and, and just fast forward so you see the end result Okay, so I've completed this. Uh, so I, I copied and pasted these um, sketch motion lines in this direction and I copied and pasted the previous shape and dragged it over here. So at the moment, if I just zoom out a little bit on my timeline so I can see how it looks, I'll shorten that and go down here. All right, so this is what it would look like overall and if I zoom this back out to 50% so that's how you create an animated path on a map using Camtasia 9 I uh, would love to hear your feedback or other ways of doing this in the comments below if you enjoy these videos please subscribe so you can stay up to date and uh, we'll see you in the next video